Okay, uh, so we're going to basically uh, just go back and review the start of chapter 17. Uh, so solubility product constants and complex ion equilibria. So if we take this, um, take a compound CaC2O4 solid and basically add it to water. So it would ionize to make calcium 2 plus ions. C2O4 2 minus ions dissolved in water. And so we can write a solubility product constant. So basically an equilibrium constant expression just like the last few chapters, uh, but in this case we call it KSP. SP means solubility product constant. So that would equal the products divided by the reactants. So product concentrations divided by reactant concentrations. So that would be concentration of calcium 2 plus ions times concentration of C2O4 2 minus ions. And in this case, we don't divide it by anything because the left side of the equation is a solid. And if you remember, we don't include solids in solubility product constants. Okay. Um, so if we took another example, like lead iodide, so lead 2 iodide, if we add that to water, then that would ionize to a lead 2 ion, plus uh, 2 I minus anions. So if we write solubility product constant for this reaction, for this equilibrium, it would be concentration of lead times concentration of I minus uh, squared. All right, so if you remember whatever the coefficient is, that becomes the power in the reaction. Okay, so if we work out a natural problem, so take lead to iodide and water, So if 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 mole uh, dissolves in 1 liter of water, uh, then basically you can ask what is Ksp, so what is the constant Ksp? So at the start of this reaction then, uh, there's no lead 2, there's no uh, iodide dissolved and at equilibrium. Uh, there would be x moles per liter of lead 2 dissolved and 2x um, moles per liter of iodide dissolved, right? Because every single lead iodide that dissolves gives 1 lead 2 and 2 I minuses. So the concentration of I minus in solution is going to be twice the concentration of lead 2 in solution. So in this case, we told the problem told you that 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of lead to iodide dissolves in one liter of water. So then that would be the same amount of lead 2 uh, that is in one liter of water. So then in this case, x is equal to 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 uh, molar. So we can solve for Ksp then is equal to right. So lead 2 times concentration of I minus squared. So Ksp would equal 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 molar and then 2 times 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 molar squared. So if we just calculate this out, then Ksp is equal to 6.9 times 10 to the minus 9. <coughs> okay, so if we take another problem, calcium fluoride, and if we add it to water, 
So in this case, we just asked a different question, but all of the math is essentially the same. So how many grams of calcium fluoride dissolves in one liter of water? And in this case, your given KSP is equal to 3.4 times 10 to the minus 11. So KSP equals concentration of calcium 2 plus times concentration of F minus squared. <coughs> so at the start, there's no calcium, there's no fluoride. At equilibrium, there's X moles per liter of calcium 2 plus and 2X. Uh, F minus. So then we just plug in for KSP is going to equal x times 2x squared, which equals 4x cubed, and then simply solve for x. So then take the cube root of the left. So x is equal to 2.0 times 10 to the minus 4. So 2.0 times 10 to the minus 4 mole, the way to interpret that number, 2 times 2 times 10 to the minus 4 mole of Calcium fluoride dissolves in one liter of H2O. And but the question asks how many grams dissolves. So how many grams of calcium fluoride will dissolve in one liter? So, since it asks for grams instead of moles, then we need to calculate the molar mass of calcium fluoride. So, of course, you need your periodic table. Okay, so 2 times 10 to the minus 4 mole of CAF2 times uh, 78 grams per 1 mole. So 2 times 2.0 times 10 to the minus 4 times 78 grams per mole. So if you calculate that out, then that's how many grams of calcium fluoride will dissolve in one liter of water.